my name is Sadie Glass and I'm the Horn Professor at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. I'm here today to talk to you about your Allstate auditions for 2021. This year our piece for Horn is Mozart's Second Horn Concerto. This piece was originally written for the natural horn, which is the horn I'm holding right now. I've got some excerpts to also show you how it sounded on this horn a little later for you, an extra treat. Today I'm here to talk to you about some tips and tricks to help you nail your Allstate audition. The first section is the longest and probably the most difficult, so make sure you've got enough face before you start. Really make sure you have a steady tempo in your head before you start. I would recommend practicing this B flat scale every day. Whenever you pick up your horn, the first thing you should play is that B flat scale. When you're done warming up in the morning, that B flat scale. You want this to sound effortless and easy. And I know it's anything but. Try your best, practice that scale a ton. Overall, remember that you need to be light and nice and airy with this piece. It's also very operatic. It's so easy to play Mozart, a little boring, I have to say. Think about this piece as if it were a film score or a short piece of literature. Find your main characters, your secondary characters, the climax of the piece. Really go after it and make it as musical as possible. The second excerpt in the first movement has a much spookier and darker feel than the first movement. And the reason for that is, is all the hand stopping. So by incorporating our knowledge of natural horn, and if you don't know a lot about natural horn, I'm going to tell you about it right now. There's a lot of open and closed notes. The way I'm able to change and produce notes is by taking my right hand and making small adjustments, opening and closing the bell. I'm shortening and lengthening the, the length of the tubing. So when I get to notes like the written A and F sharp and E flat, I'm looking at an original E flat part, by the way, as well, not a transposed F part. Those notes are all going to be closed in much darker timbre, creating this spooky effect. Check out my recording right now playing this on the natural horn. See how that can inform your modern horn interpretation. excerpt is from the final movement, the Rondo, one of my favorites. It's so light and jolly. Just have fun with this. Um, be careful at the end of the first excerpt, that low B flat, our horn B flat that you're going to play, lots of air. Don't shy away from it. That octave leap can sometimes be a little tricky. <laughs> If you want to learn more about natural horn, please let me know. It's one of my specialties and at UOP we have two natural horns for students to be able to learn hand horn technique while you're at school here. Be happy to talk to you more about hand horn technique. <laughs> The last excerpt that you're going to play in the rondo is also a little darker, kind of like the first movement second excerpt. Um, there's lots of trills in this section. Be careful, really practice them slowly. 
For these trills, the trickiest one is the one at 84, where you're playing our horn pitches D, trill in that D to C, B flat. I would recommend playing that first D, trigger three, doing the trill, trigger three to open, and then B flat, trigger one. <laughs> It's going to take a little getting used to if you're used to playing trigger one, two, but that's going to be a faster trill than playing that trigger one, two to open. Practice how many twiddles are back, forth, up and down that you're going to do at one time. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this helped you in preparing for your Allstate auditions. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. Thanks again and good luck with your audition.